Americans owe $1.77 trillion in student loan debt, which is insane. So today we're here at USC and we're gonna be asking students how much student loan debt they're in. We'll also ask questions like how they expect to pay it off, how they save money, and their advice for anyone with student loan debt. Let's go. Do you have student loan by chance? Yes. Would you be willing to be in our YouTube video for like two minutes? Okay. So what's your name, age, and what's your major? I'm Emma, I'm 19, and my major is public relations. What do you want to do with that major after you graduate? Probably was thinking about going into social media, but I'm not 100% sure, I'm still figuring that out. Are you going to have student loans? Yes, I do have student loans. Would you be willing to share how much money in loans you have? Currently, it's 7,000 a year. So how do you expect to pay that off after you graduate? I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think just like over the course of the years, just setting up like a auto, just like every month yeah. pay. I'm, I'm not sure for how long okay. I'll be paying for, but um, yeah, that's kind of something I was gonna figure out after I graduate. What's your favorite thing about USC? Honestly, the people here are just so sweet and I just love school spirit and so USC has so much school spirit. Do you have advice for people that want to save money in college? Carpool with people when you're going out, just cook as much as you can. I think at the first week it's hard because everyone wants to go out. Yeah. Get a job over the summer and definitely, like there's so many job opportunities here on campus to get money, like student jobs, yeah. so definitely get, like check that out. Okay. Yeah. Do you currently work? Not at the moment. Okay. but I'm looking for a job as well, yeah. Is college worth it? Yes, I think college is worth it. I think it just gives you so many skills for the future and it just sets you up for success. Mm. How much money would I have to pay you to quit college right now? Probably at least a million. Whoa. What's your biggest splurge? I have like a shopping addiction, okay. so <laughs> I would say I just like buy a lot of clothes um, and then just going out with like food and things like that. Is there a frugal way to buy clothes? Wait for sales. Okay. Abercrombie, for example, always okay. has a sale or like Princess Polly, there's always like coupon codes. So just make sure you like look out for that and yeah. not pay full price when you don't have to. Any final advice for students? I would say just get involved when you're here on campus. Like it'll just make your time so much better when yeah. you feel like you belong and just form that community of people. Love that. Thank you so much. Of course. So what's your name, age, and what's your major? Michael. I am 26 years old. I'm late to college. Um, my major is mechanical engineering. And why'd you choose that major? Out of high school, I originally started going to like automotive shops and stuff like that. Realized that I didn't really like turning wrenches as much as I thought and I wanted to get more into the design. So I decided to go back to college. College, um, at a later age and here I am. And what do you hope to do in the future? In the future I hope to be an engineer in the Air okay. Force. Okay. That's why uh, I'm an ROTC student right now here at USC for the Air Force. So then when I get out I'm sure I'll have a great resume to build off of. Do you have any student loans? I do not have any student loans right now, no. How? Mostly Air Force ROTC offers scholarships okay. to cadets. It's not always guaranteed but you can get a scholarship, you can have almost everything completely paid for or you can get a type 2 scholarship is what we call it and that's about $9,000 a semester okay. that can help pay for your stuff. What advice do you have for other people that want to go to college without any debt. Best advice I have right now, obviously, is uh, look to the military. I know it's not the most glamorously looked upon right now, but as an ROTC cadet, I get to go to college, I get to have it all paid for, and then I immediately have a job after too, okay. which will give me four years minimum of experience, which will look great when I transfer over into something else. So you have to serve for a minimum of four years? It depends on your job. I want to be an engineer, so that service requirement is four years. A lot of people who go into the Air Force or in the Navy, they want to be pilots. I believe it's 12 years, but pretty much everything else that's not a pilot to my knowledge, is a four-year service. How long do you plan on serving? There's a lot of great opportunities in the Air Force, a lot of great benefits yeah. that would possibly keep me longer, and the pay outside as an engineer after the Air Force is a lot better, so I'm still on the fence. I don't know yet. I'm just gonna see where that takes me. What's your best tip for saving money? Just count your dollars, man. Just make sure you're not spending needlessly. Always find the cheapest route. Don't eat out all the time. Don't go to the bar all the time. I know it sucks. You don't get to hang out, have fun as much, yeah. but it saves money. What's the most frugal thing you've done as a student? Just not gone out to hang out or hang out something. I'll just sit in my room and just stare at the wall sometimes. I've done that a couple times. Yeah, because every time you leave, you spend money. Yeah, you're always spending money, even if it's just the gas. Sometimes you just got to stay in. Are there any current ways that you're making money as a student? Right now, I'm just working part-time. Okay. Just delivering Where? pizzas. At the, oh. Yeah, I'm literally just delivering pizzas. It's just a side gig. They're super flexible with my school schedule, so it's not the most glamorous. It's not the most well-looked-upon job, I know, but it gets me money. It helps pay the bills that I do have. They're super flexible with school, so it doesn't get in the way of my studying right. and other stuff. How many hours per week do you deliver pizzas? <sighs> Probably about 12 hours a week. Okay. Just about, I only work three days because I have such a busy schedule and a lot of classes are night classes. Would you be willing to share how much money you make per hour on average? It's really hard to calculate because I'm also spending my own gas money. It's enough to not keep my bank account in the negative. Is college worth it? I think college is worth it. I mean, I'm a little biased because like I said, I'm going straight into the military. Yeah. I think it all depends on your major too, of course. So there's a lot of people who do majors that probably won't get them as far in life. But if you're doing an engineering major like I am, yeah. absolutely worth it. You need that. It'll take you very far. Any final advice you want to give to students? Focus on your mental health. I think that's probably what helped me the most is I really focused on mental health before everything else to make sure I was mentally strong and capable before tackling all that other stuff because it can be really overwhelming. Yeah. Are there any practical things that people can do to 
to work on their mental health. Exercise, yoga, if you've got insurance, go to a therapist. I'm sure there's um, student resources here that could help you out. I'm sure you could talk to friends. Just make sure you're being weary of your mental health and taking care of it. Even if you're just stressing or crying or something, just let out a cry. Just do something that allows yourself to feel better. Thank you so much. Yeah. So a lot of you guys watching this are in college or you've graduated but have student loans. And that means there are two important dates that you need to know. Interest on your federal student loans start accruing again on September 1st, 2023, and payments resume in October 2023. So this could be a great time to refinance with SoFi, our sponsor for today's video. SoFi offers competitive rates, which can help you save thousands of dollars over the life of your loan. Or SoFi's flexible term options could even help lower your monthly payment. And you can feel comfortable with SoFi. Over 450,000 people have refinanced over $30 billion of loans with them, and that's because they make the process easy and fast. You can also check out SoFi's student debt guide to see if refinancing makes sense for your situation. I'm a big fan because they charge zero fees and they have super competitive fixed rates. The application takes two minutes and there's no impact on your credit score to see your rates. And yeah, the link is sofi.com slash charlie chang, which will also be in the description below. Again, that link is gonna be down below or you can scan the QR code on the screen. I encourage you guys to at least do a free rate check, especially as federal student loan payments start to come back. And now let's go talk to more students. Uh, so what's your name, age, and what's your major? Hello, I'm uh, Dong Si. I'm uh, 22 and I study architecture at USC. How'd you choose that major? I just wanna design my own house in the future. Do you have any student loans? Unfortunately, I do have some student loans. How much uh, in student loans do you have? A couple thousand. How'd you get to, doesn't seem like that much. I'm trying to not eat out that often. You know, also try to work as you uh, go to school. How do you plan on paying off your student loans? I do have internship every summer. I think that could cover, or mostly cover the uh, the loans that I uh, took out during yeah. the school year. And how'd you find that uh, internship? As you know, there's like career fairs in, in school yeah. and our school of architecture also have our own like career fair. And I just went to one of the um, tables and talked to the uh, HR person and I got a job. Would you be willing to share how much money you make at that internship? You never make much money in architecture, but um, I, I just made enough to cover the loans that I brought. How much do you expect to make after you graduate? 60 okay. to 80. If you go to like more firms that are like well known by people, you might get to somewhere like 80, 70 ish. It depends like what you want to do. Like if right. you want to, you want a skill set, you go to a smaller firm, but okay. they don't pay you much. What's the worst thing about college? I'm here. <laughs> I'm not home in my bed, <laughs> so I, I could have been doing something else. What's been the best class you've taken so far? I guess all my architecture studios. The professor acts like your client, like uh, in real life situation. Do you have any side hustles while in college? I'm also uh, the reservist uh, in the United States Marine Corps. I use what is called the uh, reservist GI Bill. Uh, that gives me roughly about like $400 a month. So what do you have to do for that? That is a uh, part-time job in the military. So I have, I'm have i going back on base once a week a month okay. to do my military occupational training. Would you recommend that for other people? Definitely. It, it is definitely a great experience. It shapes your character. Yeah. Like, I think I'm more like mentally fit than most of my peers. Yeah. As you can see, architecture, it's really a time-consuming major. <laughs> uh, like you, you, you get tired, but like I think I'm more easier to take stress compared to other students. What's the biggest lesson you've learned from being in the Marines? Don't be a oh. Just focus on your task. Get it done one by one. How much money is in your bank account? Would you be willing to share? I'm going to say five digits. What's your best life hack to save money? Don't eat out. Like eating out costs a lot. What are your living expenses currently like? I live with my parents, so I commute. I don't oh, really nice. spend that much money. Did you grow up frugal or like how did you have this type of mindset? I guess the Marine Corps also taught us a way to save money, right? The TSP, like you put a certain amount, whatever career saving plan. That's when I started to know how to save money. And of course, being in an Asian family, you're taught to save money from mm -hmm. a young age. So like I don't spend over my budget. So that's how I keep track of how much I should be spending. Any final advice you want to leave students? Don't be a Thank you so much. So what's your name, age, and what's your major? To me, I'm 17 and my major is cinema and media studies. How'd you pick that major? I took a film class in high school and I really liked it, okay. so I wanted to apply here. And what do you hope to do with that major in the future? I'm not completely sure. I think I would love to make films, but also I do like the analyzing part of it as well. So. Okay. Do you have any student loans? Yes. Would you be willing to share like how much student loans you have? 20k okay. for this semester. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about USC so far? It's beautiful. Okay. I'm from Virginia. And and oh. so it's much nicer out here than there. Okay, like the weather? Yeah, it's a lot more humid there, okay. so it's nice here. Do you think college is worth it? Uh, I think it is. The connections you get, the people you meet, and then I think you just get to take a lot of classes that mm. you didn't get to in high school. Okay. And what made you want to go down the college path? My mother. Okay. So my whole life she's been, you're going to college, oh. so I had to get excited about it. Yeah. Now as a student, how do you save money? I just try not to spend it all in one place okay. when I do get money. Do you have any 
tips for other students? You don't need everything that you think that you need. Are there any like frugal foods or meals that you buy that other people should try out? Trader Joe's Caesar salad. It's oh. like three fifty, I think. Okay. And it's a pretty good meal. What's the craziest thing you've done to save money so far? Whenever my friends would go out to eat, I would eat beforehand, oh. so I wouldn't have to spend money while I'm out. What do you think about college dropouts? That's okay. I don't know. I don't think it makes you less valuable in the work field. I know some for some jobs you might have a harder chance of getting a job, but like it doesn't mean that you're less smart or anything. What can other students do to take advantage of going to an expensive school? Just reaching out to people because at least for film, they told us that these are the people that you're going to be working with for mm. the rest of your life. So really make connections and get to know people. Thank you so much. So what's your name, age, and major? Hi, I'm alone, 18, and econ student here. What made you want to get into econ? Well, I want to transfer into the business school, but oh. I think it's a cool major with a lot of opportunities okay. overall. And what do you hope to do in the future? I want to be in startups, not any specific ones, but... You want to start your own business? That would be very nice, yes. Okay. Do you have student loans? I do not have student loans. How do you save money? This is only my first week on campus, like very new to all of this, yeah. but I think I'm not buying like un unnecessary things for now. What's been your favorite thing about USC so far? Meeting new people. How's it living in the dorms? Is that cool? Yeah, the dorms is very cool. It's a lot of kids within my, my major. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, people from so many different areas. It's very cool mm. to see. Yeah. Okay. And where are you originally from? Originally from Israel, but okay. then oh. I lived in the Bay Area for high school. What's the best piece of advice you learned from your parents? Probably if you make a mistake, try to do twice as good to make up for it. What are you most frugal about? Food, because I don't really need that much of a expensive yeah. diet or anything to support myself. What do you splurge your money on? Just soccer cleats. I just play a lot of soccer. Oh, yeah, okay. that's maybe the worst thing. I buy a lot. What's a skill that every college student should be learning? Being a good like people person, just because yeah. it's about the people you know, not mm. what you know sometimes. Depends yeah. on the major. Is college worth it? College is worth it for certain majors. Yeah. Some definitely not, and some very worth it, and it also depends on how you approach like your student loans and all of that. Any final advice you want to uh, leave the audience? Just spread kindness when you're on campus and be open to trying everything here. Thank you so much. So what's your name, age, and what's your major? My name is Sarah. I'm 21 and I'm double majoring in psychology and data science. Yeah. Why did you choose a double major? I really liked my psych major and then data science. I was taking some like web dev classes and I wanted to jump into more dev stuff. Okay. So data science was a good option for me. What do you hope to do in the future with your major? I hope to either go into you UX design or I might potentially just go further down the psych route. I'm a teacher like on the side oh. at USC Whoa. for like elementary school kids okay. so I might like go into something related to that but I'm kind of all over the place so we'll see. Do you have any student loans? I do have student loans yeah. Uh, how much? Right now I have 5,500 and since I'm kind of graduating soon it's probably gonna cut off at that. Okay. So how are you able to get through college with only having like $5,000 of student loans? I've had a lot of jobs throughout college. Freshman year, I had like two jobs. Sophomore year, I had like three jobs. Now I have three jobs. I'm also like scholarships and stuff like that, but mainly working. How do you balance school and three jobs? I don't. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm living on the bare minimum, you know, walking the tightrope, but hopefully I will end out strong. Just one more year left. <laughs> do you have any advice for other people that want to start making money while in college? Just reach out to anyone. Um, for me, like with all of my job opportunities, it was a lot of just being open with people who had resources available. So like, don't be afraid to like be in contact with people and um, kind of share what's going on with you. And a lot of people are willing to help out. It's very like networking um, and yeah. like connection based. Would you be willing to share how much money you make at one of your jobs? Like $18 an hour, okay. but then the hours like kind of change. And then my office jobs as well. It's kind of based on what my schedule is. Are you frugal or not? It also depends on the year right now. I'm like trying to save up but I think at the beginning of college I was spending like crazy. What do you splurge your money on? I'm a gamer so oh. I spend a lot on like gaming. What's the most important thing you've learned in college so far? How to be independent. I'm from Florida so it's been a lot on me in terms of like financial like trying to be independent and stable at the same time. And what's one thing that you wish you did differently while you're in college? I wish I didn't spend so much money at oh. the beginning. Okay. <laughs> Don't spend too much at the beginning. Try to hold on to your savings and yeah. stuff like that. Any final advice you want to leave the audience? Just good luck out there. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. So what's your name, age, and what's your major? Hi, I'm Ali. I'm 23 and I'm third year architecture student. How did you get into that? Since I was a kid, I saw like plans and stuff. My grandparents building buildings like that and I just saw the plans and I got into it. And what do you hope to do with that major in the future? At first, it's like internship. Okay. Then after some experience, I'm looking into like just getting promoted and working to better places mm. and better firms and stuff like 
Yeah. Okay. And do you have any student loan debt? I do, yeah. How much? As of right now, I think it's upwards of 22000 And how are you going to pay that off? Well, the payments aren't that bad for me. So okay. it's like 100 120 to $30 a month. Okay. So after like I graduate, either I decide to go to work and pay it off, mm -hmm. or I can just uh, pursue my master's. And would you say you're frugal? What does that mean? Do you like saving money? Yeah, of course. Everybody does. How do you save money? With not spending it. Just get it and put it in my bank account. Like. But what about like daily necessities? Oh yeah, so don't like eating out. Try to cook as much as possible. Okay. I make my own coffee. I don't do Starbucks mm. stuff like that. And I only buy things that are necessary. What's been the best purchase you've made in the last year? A 3D printer, probably. What do you do with that? Just do my models, stuff okay. like that, yeah. What's the craziest way that you've saved money? It used to be taking the bus to here to not spend it on gas money, but now nah, I'm, I'm just driving. Is it worth it to spend money on the gas? Nah, but um, since like the time for an architecture student, is the biggest value. Mm -hmm. I decided to save more time. How much do you pay for rent? Well, I live with my parents. How much money to quit college right now? Realistically, 500000 I think I could do something with 500000 What would you do with it? Invest it into some uh, real estate projects, okay. like get some apartments, yeah. and then as I'm paying it off, I rent the apartments and I build on that passive mm. income. What's your most embarrassing college story? So actually, it happened like today. We have like this group chat on Instagram yeah. where we share our stuff. It's like a big group with all the architecture students. And sometimes when I'm tired, I tend to like scroll through the memes and stuff like that and just send them everywhere. Yeah. So I kind of might accidentally send some some like not so appropriate stuff to that group. Oh. But so yeah, I deleted it after like 12 hours. So hopefully it's, it's going to be all right. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, okay. I've done it before. So ah. that was the second time. So third time's the charm. <laughs> okay. What's the craziest way that you've made money? Pell Grants. It's like financial aid process being a community college. You basically get paid for being a student if your college is free. So usually when you take upwards of like 10 units, you automatically get paid like about 5,000 per semester. So that's like, you can, you can build up on that. If you could go back to when you started college, what would you do differently now? Back in my community college, I would just do things a little faster. If I go back in time, I would tell myself to just hurry up. Even if you don't, don't do things correctly, just do them. Love that. Thank you so much. So what's your name, age, and what's your major? I'm Sophia. I'm 17 and I'm a human biology major. And how'd you choose your major? I've kind of always known like I wanted to do something in like the health field. So I thought that biology was kind of the best way to like just further that, I guess. Okay. And what's your plans for after college? What do you want to do? I want to go to PA school and oh. be a PA. Yeah. Okay. Do you know how much money you can make as a PA? I think it's set around like 130k, okay. something okay. like that. And this is something that you want to do or is it like your parents that? Yeah, this is something like I want to do. Okay. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And do you have any student loans or are you going to get any student loans? I think I'm definitely going to get student loans. Okay. Like right now, I haven't figured it all out because yeah. I just got here, but I think I'm definitely going to. Okay. Are you scared to pay off those loans? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I feel like everyone yeah. is a little scared, right? What are you going to do to like, you know, save money and be frugal? Well, I mean, I've had a job since I was like 14 and I've Whoa. been saving for a while. Okay. So I feel like I have pretty good saving habits, okay. but I'm not too sure sure honestly like I'm gonna have to figure it out can you bless the audience with some of your advice for both making money and saving money stay consistent with being on top of your financials and stuff and like I don't know work hard I guess what kind of job do you currently work right now for the first semester I don't think I'm gonna have a job because okay. I worked like the whole summer okay. I was babysitting I worked part-time at my stepdad's pharmaceutical okay. marketing business and I also worked at an ice cream shop so Whoa. what are you looking forward to most in college just like getting to know know more people I guess kind of having a fresh start like I'm the only one from my high school that came here so just fresh start is USC worth it so far I really like it but it is a lot of money like for sure yeah. but so far like I really like the environment and like all my professors are like really great what's the best piece of advice you learned from your parents probably from my mom that education is the most important thing ever so as long as you just go and get a degree in something like you're gonna be okay would you be to share how much is in your bank account 12k okay in there. for people that make money and then just spend it what would you tell them how do you actually like save it and not touch it think about your future more like because a lot of material things like will be fun for the moment but then like if you don't have money in the future like it's gonna be worse off what's the craziest way that you've ever made money i don't know if it was crazy but like i was a ski instructor Whoa. so yeah so how many different jobs have you worked in your lifetime probably about like five okay what's your biggest splurge buying stuff for coming to college 
like new like stuff that I needed, okay. I guess. That was probably the most I had like spent at once. Okay. Do you get Starbucks a lot? If anything, like I get it once a week, but my friend told me that they came out with the pumpkin, so I had to try it. Any final advice you want to leave college students? Focus on saving, like make sure you don't get carried away. Thank you so much. So that does it for today's video. Obviously, we learned that USC has a lot of great financial aid. So while we didn't talk to anyone that had a lot of student debt, we still got some pretty decent numbers. I know for me, I graduated with a lot of people that had over six figures of student loan debt. They're still paying it off to this day. So again, if you have any debt, make sure to check out SoFi. SoFi also has an amazing online savings account. Right now, they're paying up to 4.50% APY. So if you're sitting on cash, definitely use my link down below. And you can also get a cash bonus for signing up right now. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. We talked to a lot of really interesting people. And yeah, hopefully you guys got some value from this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I do a ton of videos about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. All right, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.